the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News. Good morning, Arkansas. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're back with our sponsor, Baptist Health, and they now have the first fully robotic-assisted surgery system in Little Rock. So joining us this morning to talk about it is one of Baptist Health surgeons who is using that robot in general surgery. A general surgeon, Dr. Eric Paul, joining us. Dr. Paul, thanks for being here. Appreciate yeah. you stopping by. Thanks, Taking Chris. some time away from the technology and the yeah. robots over yeah. there. A different type of technology. We talk about how our, our entire culture is addicted to technology. This is a good one. Absolutely. You know, this is one of those ones that is really on the forefront of helping people out. Explain how you guys were able to acquire this and what exactly you're using it for. Yeah, uh, we have uh, the new uh, XI version of the Da Vinci robot, which is, uh, it, like you, you mentioned, it's the first fully integrated robotic system uh, available on the market. And so what that means is the robot, when it's attached to the patient, uh, we can actually move the table and the robot will actually move with it. Oh, so really? you, can, you can move the patient to allow you better access to see things better. Um, and the visualization with the robot is amazing. You can see the, the, the camera has two different cameras, one for each eye. So you get a true three-dimensional vision um, uh, when, you're, when you're operating. So you're and, operating a robot which is, do you use it on scope procedures? Absolutely. Okay, all yeah. scope? Uh, it's uh, laparoscopic surgery. Okay. Um, it's, it's all laparoscopic surgery, and so uh, it's, it's what's called robotically assisted laparoscopic surgery. Okay. Um, so it's, uh, it basically mimics the movements of your hands uh, on the inside of the patient. So wow. um, these, these robotic arms that you're seeing are attached to different instruments that you, you could use in regular laparoscopic surgery, but uh, it's fully articulated articulated, meaning that you, your, your wristed movements are, are uh, completely matched on the inside of the patient. So you put your fingers in those little actuators and these little robotic arms will move around inside the patient and allow you to do really detailed work um, from sitting down, That's which is incredible. actually yeah, which is actually a pretty good thing. It helps save my back and my, <laughs> and my feet, feet yeah, and, yeah, and, sure, and my eyes and, and save all a that. life at the same Absolutely. time, right? It's yeah. all it's all working, you know, yeah. hand in hand. What's so, what's the training like on this? I mean, I'm sure this is um, something you guys had to go it, through training. It's, absolutely, it's a it's an extension of of, a, of regular laparoscopic surgery, but we work with our our rep representatives from uh, Intuitive Surgical, the the company that makes that. Okay. Uh, they, they are really uh, uh, proactive in, in getting us the best technology, the best equipment, and, and the best training. And so um, we, we go off and learn uh, different procedures and techniques uh, at different hospitals. And um, so we're able to uh, uh, really offer the best type of care for our patients. Is this just the beginning of where we're headed? Uh, I think so. I think we're, we're really uh, looking at... Uh, in the future, we're going to have augmented reality in surgery, so we're going to be able to project imagery and then match that with what we're actually seeing at the time. I mean, I mean, it, we're getting kind of into the Star Trek realm here. Really? I mean, it's. I mean, the the tricorder is not that far off. I think. <laughs> so um, one day you could be, so. in theory, at home. <laughs> Sitting down on a machine performing surgery on someone you, in a hospital using a robot. You know what's actually funny? I've met a Canadian surgeon who is actually also an astronaut that did robotic surgery on a rabbit from the International Space Station. What? So it's possible. It is entirely possible. I mean, the future is just wide open. It's really exciting. So who would be a candidate for this type of surgery? Um, anyone that's a candidate for regular laparoscopic surgery would be a candidate for robotic surgery. Um, even if you've had previous operations um, uh, with a, with a talented, safe surgeon, yeah. you should still be able to do whatever whatever you need to uh, robotically. Um, and this new technology is really opening up um, the field of general surgery in a, in a way that the earlier versions of this technology just haven't. So, okay. Talk yeah. to your doctor today, folks, if uh, this is something that you've been considering, if this is something that you're a candidate for, as Dr. Paul mentioned, then certainly talk to them. And talk to the folks at Baptist Health. They will help you keep on amazing. You can go to baptist-health.com or call the number on your screen. That is the Baptist Health Healthline. Dr. Paul, thanks for stopping right. by explaining this. Appreciate and, uh, you. It's like watching a movie, yeah. saying that. It's pretty incredible. Thanks yep. for the work that you guys right. do over thanks. there.